All right, sports fans, we have a little bit of a, a nothing burger uh, video. I'm sorry, I didn't start with uh, Hi Guys brand here. Oh, I was a little weird today, but <laughs> anyways, uh, this video is about the recent uh, dredge skin because I kind of want to talk about in general how uh, DVD has had this habit for a very, very long time of just making weapons that just and just kids in general, to be honest, that just don't make any sense in terms of their size on the screen and how behavior just doesn't seem to want to care or adjust these things. And it's really, really weird. So, yeah. Go ahead and talk about it. Uh, yeah, so uh, here's the image. I'm going to put it over here. And no, the, I will not be playing with this skin in the background in the B-roll footage. If the whole point is that it takes up too much of the screen, it's really awful. Why would I A, buy the skin and B, why would I play as it? No, um, the, as you can see, I'm going to put the, the image over here. Um, yeah, as you can see, despite the dredge skin, like, uh, the skin itself from the, like the third person perspective looking absolutely lovely and amazing and probably one of their coolest skins they have out uh, it, it covers most of the screen from the first person perspective and this is uh kind of like one of the most egregious examples of this because there's plenty of other weapons in the game looking at you meet the maker <laughs> the meek the maker uh, weapons are pretty bad too um but this one in particular is like egregiously bad because not only is the weapon on the right really large and covers most of the screen, which is the usual with the other Dead by Daylight uh, cosmetics that are really large. Uh, but now the left little hand thing, you know, that he does, the, you know, consulting his orb, pondering his orb over here. Um, that hand is also extremely large. So uh, the, the problem here, if you're like, wow, this seems like a nothing burger. Why are you even complaining about this? Uh, think about if there was like uh, this image in particular. Think about if there was like a survivor over to your right, crouched near that rock, but like sticking out like they have like a bright red med kit or they're not fully behind the rock. You just like outright do not see them in the skin. <laughs> if somebody was crouched over to your left over by whatever happens to be on the left in this image, I can't quite see. It's Yamoka Residence, so it's probably like a, a, a fallen log or something. And they're just like just barely out of view. They're just they're kind of like sticking out from the log that they're crouched behind. Maybe they're wearing a brightly colored cosmetic. You just like don't actually see that because you're big. Your big consult the orb, pondering the orb hand is in the way. So like, if you run this, you're actually pay to lose. Like there are other pay to lose like skins in Dead by Daylight. The, the, the queen on the Xenomorph is actually one of them uh, because you are, uh, your head, little head crest is so big that even while in crawler mode, it sticks up over the loop. So it kind of just like rats you out. Um, <laughs> but it's not nearly as bad as this. We're like literally you as the player, you're not going to be able to see most of the screen. Um, and the reason I'm making the video about this one in particular is because this is probably the worst example of this. Um, Cause now you're not only obscured on the right, be obscured on the left as well whereas usually if you're using one of the wraith's giant weapons um usually all you have to do is the, the the right side of the screen being completely cut off uh not both <laughs> so i just i don't know i wonder if behavior actually like test these skins before they put them out i wonder if they're like under some sort of time crunch because literally all this would take was just like loading up one time one time as this skin <laughs> and looking at it for like two seconds going Hmm. I kind of can't see it. <laughs> and then you'd be good, right? You would just immediately see that I can't see a darn thing while using this giant crab skin. Um, but I, I guess not. I guess they don't do that. Do they have testing for skins? I know they have the consultant program. I know about that. But those are mostly used to test like new chapters, new perks, uh, perk balances, uh, balance changes, that sort of thing. Like they're not used to test skins, I don't think. But is anybody testing the skins at all? Because this feels like it'd be very, very easy to catch. And honestly, any of the giant weapons they've ever released is probably fairly easy to catch. Um, I can see like your early DVD days, like the very, very early, um, the very, very early days of DVD where like having a giant weapon probably didn't matter because they're just like, oh, well, uh, as long as the game's even working, like we're good because <laughs> this made is, this game is made out of duct tape, spit, and broken dreams. And it still is. Let's not get that twisted. It still is. It's still made out of duct tape, spit, and broken dreams. But uh, back then, they didn't think it was going to go anywhere. They didn't think it was going to actually succeed. So uh, who cares if we put like a giant weapon that covers half the screen into the game? Like I, this game's probably going to be dead next year. But for the longevity of the game and people that play these characters, especially characters uh, like, honestly, the ones I play, like Jeff and Zeno, they don't really get a lot of skins. Um, having it not be terrible and actually have visibility while I'm using my skin that I just bought because I've been looking forward to a skin for a very, very long time and I haven't got one in forever. 
finally get one and have it just do this <laughs> it's, it's really awful um honestly a lot of characters i have stopped playing because lack of skin availability cheryl uh those of you ogs oh, ogs oh, in the in the headache zone raise your hand this is going to be the in the comments thing for engagement thing that we do this video uh who, who remembers me uh being the set break guy who remembers that that's like the first thing i ever got known for in the dead by daily community i did tutorials on how to break linked sets and cheryl had like a bajillion of them and a lot of them didn't even make sense because you had the green sets which were just jeans and hair like they weren't anything crazy but for some reason they were also linked sets so there's a glitch back in the game way back in the day that if you uh, lagged the store a bit you could actually just you know pop the sets off and mix and match um but it was hard because it was a glitch so i did tutorials uh to teach people how to do that um but they unfortunately patched that uh, a long time ago so you know a year after a year I, I just started playing cheryl less and less and thankfully i became a jeff main and i love being a jeff main but like cheryl was my first survivor main and i stopped playing her because despite the fact that i didn't have a lot of cosmetics for her, i eventually stopped playing her like over time because the, it, they were all sets so I, I you know if i wanted to play uh cop cheryl i couldn't it had to be sybil if i wanted to play uh cheryl with her long hair but use like her, her like her normal t-shirts or normal tank tops uh couldn't do that anymore it had to be the the vest that comes with it um of course gerald gerald was kind of terrifying very very funny um <laughs> but uh, i can see why they didn't want that one that one was kind of like terrifying um but just like putting a different shirt on my character was just like no longer even possible i had i had to lock in so i felt so limited in my cosmetic choices um so i just kind of like stopped playing the character over time so that have an even more limited option of skin choices because uh, you literally can't freaking see um i don't know i just think that's lame i think limited uh, cosmetic options are already not great uh for some characters so uh we should probably be a little bit more careful about releasing uh, cosmetics that block out most of the screen so you can actually i don't know do the bare minimum which is playing the video game <laughs> so yeah hopefully they change this hopefully they, they change this thing obviously in the grand scheme of things like queue times uh you know mass toxicity in the game that's not a big deal but like yeah it should probably go either way and honestly i wanted to talk about it so and i you know this is i have a youtube channel where i talk about things i want to talk about so yeah i don't know why i keep looking at it that there's nothing there this is just a monitor on on, on my end here it doesn't even have the image images right here i don't know why i keep looking over there i'm like trying to immerse you in the video but like it's not even over there it's over here i don't know i'm being weird i haven't I haven't gotten all that sleep <laughs> but yeah i appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching and listening to me rant about a skin for eight minutes wow i never know when to shut up but hey if you don't if you like me not shutting up uh i do upload daily so i will see you tomorrow but if i do not well you know the thing i always say i'll see you when i see you Goodbye.